Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my video blog series. I am your host, Nick Renard, and today we are going to talk about how to check remarketing lists. Now, the reason that this is so relevant is that a lot of people will set up remarketing campaigns on their own and eventually something will happen. Either the tag is dropped or uh, uh, something, a list gets detached, or uh, a remarketing list gets detached, an audience gets detached. Um, something can happen. And so, what, the reason I want to go through this process of how to check remarketing lists is so that if you have a remarketing campaign and it ever goes offline, then if you go through the steps that I'm going through in this video, which will be kind of a little bit of basic setup and also just how to check these things, uh, you'll be able to uh, use this to diagnose why or what is wrong with your uh, your remarketing campaign. So let's go ahead and get started. So where I'm going to start, I'm actually going to start in analytics here. Uh, I'm going to use our, our own campaign because uh, our company has a remarketing campaign running right now that's promoting our webinars and so I'm going to use that as an example. So if you log into analytics, this is the front screen that you will see. You want to go ahead and click on your campaign that you're interested in. And the very first thing that you need to make sure, and this is this is going to be relevant if you've never if you've never done remarketing before and you're setting it up for the first time, or if uh, if you've never done remarketing through analytics specifically, then you'll have to uh, uh, go through this step to make sure that everything is enabled. Um, side note here, we there's there's actually two ways to set up remarketing lists within uh, AdWords. Uh, you can do it through AdWords, and you can also do it through Analytics. And then those, when you set it up through Analytics, what it does is it imports it over to AdWords, and you can use it in you know the same AdWords platform. Um, it seems like it's more complicated to do it in Analytics and then import it over to AdWords. And I suppose that it, it does take more steps, but the truth is is that uh, the the amount that you can do in terms of custom tailoring your lists and analytics is uh, it, it's far superior to what you can do in AdWords. AdWords is a significantly more limited platform. So that's why we always encourage people to use analytics. If you're setting up a really basic remarketing campaign and you just can't be bothered to set it up in analytics and doing it through AdWords is fine. But uh, I'm, I'm going to advocate that you always do set up your remarketing list through analytics and then import them over to AdWords. All right. so. Back on track. So the first thing we need to do here is to make sure that uh, we have set our analytics to be able to uh, cookie our users and be able to track the uh, the users that are coming to our site. So if we click the admin tab at the top, what you just saw me do here, click admin, and if you go under under property here and then you click tracking info, there's a drop down box, and one of the things says data collection. Go ahead and click on that. And you'll see here that it says remarketing. Uh, it says what it does right here. It says enable data collection for display and search remarketing. When you enable the setting, you must adhere to Google Analytics, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so yeah, this does exactly what it says. It, it, it allows you to start cooking users and track people so that you can put them on a remarketing list and, uh, and start uh, retargeting the users that are coming to your site. Um, yeah, when you first create a analytics account, this setting is going to default to being off here. So, if you just set up your analytics account, make sure you come in here and check this. <laughs> that may be the reason that your uh, your remarketing list isn't working right now. Uh, but once you once you check it on, go ahead and hit save right there. And it says success. We can just go back to the admin tab here. <clears throat> All right, so now we want to come back to the admin tab. What what we did there is we just told analytics that we want you to, we're, we're allowing you to be able to track users. Uh, the next thing we have to do is we actually have to set up an audience of users that we want to track. Now, most people when they're setting up a remarketing campaign, they just advertise to anybody who's been to the site. The cool thing about analytics is that, uh, like I said about how analytics is a, is a superior platform to AdWords, uh, the, the cool thing about analytics is that we can actually create a custom tailored lists. And I've done this for clients in the past where, uh, for example, 
uh, I've had clients who have a, a, a cart checkout process for like e-commerce or something like that, uh, where there's like five steps where they enter their their credit card information or their email or their address, um, you know, and they kind of go from uh, step to step to step to step. And what you can do is you could create, for example, you could create a uh, uh, multiple remarketing lists where you're tracking users depending on how deep into that shopping funnel they actually get so if they get to you know just it, let's say they just get to the cart page and then they back out um, you would value that lead less than somebody who got all the way to the very end of the checkout process and then decided to back out uh, because they got further down that funnel so they were more interested in buying you know they entered their credit card information they did everything besides confirm the order so it's like ah, oh, why didn't you why didn't you convert uh, so what we could do is we can target those users more and let more or less aggressively based on how much we think that those those users are worth for example somebody who visits the site and immediately clicks back is more than likely going to be worth less than somebody who makes it to you know step three out of five of your checkout process because that person actually showed more interest in the site uh, we call that user engagement um, all right so <clears throat> in order to set up a list in I'm, I'm tangenting a little bit here but uh, in order to set up this list of remarketing uh, go under the same property here under uh, under the admin tab and click the uh, click the remarketing button now and there's another drop down box and you want to click audiences and if uh, if you haven't set up remarketing before, it's going to prompt you to go ahead and set up an all users list. Uh, that's the first one that it always wants you to set up because, like I said, that's typically what most people remarket to is just anyone who's been to the site, um, which is very common. Don't feel bad if you don't have fully fleshed out custom tailored lists or anything like that. Like I advertise to all users all the time. Um, so the cool thing about uh, analytics is if we uh, if we have our analytics and AdWords accounts linked, which uh, if you don't uh, you can go to the same property setting here and there's a little button that says AdWords linking you can link it through there um, but any any list we create with analytics under this audiences tab is going to automatically be imported over to AdWords so like I said it sounds more complicated to be importing it over to AdWords but it does all that stuff automatically for you so all you have to do is just make sure that the uh, the tracking is enabled make sure your analytics and AdWords accounts are linked uh, which they should be if you're using analytics and AdWords uh, regularly and uh, and then any any remarketing list that you create in analytics is just automatically going to show up in AdWords without you having to click or do anything so it's going to automatically create uh, the all users list for you when you click new audience if you already have um, if you already have your all users list, then you can go through this process here and create. Uh, you'll you'll see here that it asks you to define your audience. You can create um, custom tailored lists here. I'm not going to go into this because I could talk for hours and hours about the different types of uh, custom tailored remarketing lists that we can make, and I'll probably save that for another blog. Uh, but like I was talking about with the uh, the checkout process you can create those kinds of custom tailored lists in here give it a name save it and then once you've once you've created that list it'll show up under your audiences and when we go over to AdWords then it's going to show up there alright so speaking of AdWords let's go ahead and move over to AdWords that's really all you have to do in analytics uh, that that's as complicated as it gets so when we go over to AdWords uh, you you'll probably be wondering where the audiences show up because this is kind of the default page for when you log into AdWords is just to go to your campaigns tab so to find your remarketing list there's a button down here that says shared library go ahead and click that and the first uh, thing under the drop down box is going to say audiences you want to click that very similar to analytics and I'm gonna zoom out one or two here it makes me it, it makes me zoom in to do these YouTube videos uh, because it only records in 1280 by 720 but my monitors are monstrous so it doesn't it doesn't like to shrink that small uh, the okay so here's all of the remarketing lists that we either create this is going to be every single audience that you have whether it was created in AdWords whether it was created in an analytics it doesn't matter all of your remarketing audiences are going to show up here so you can see that same all users 2 9 2016 I created a list back in early February uh, <clears throat> we're using that one as a list today or as an example list today 
you can see that uh, it, it imported it over from analytics here under type it it'll say Google Analytics if it was imported over from Google Analytics if it wasn't imported from analytics and it's an AdWords based list then it'll it'll say that uh, something else besides Google Analytics either automatically created rule based something else list upload is a customer email list for uh, like uh, retargeting based on uh, Gmail sponsored promotion stuff like that we're not going to go into that now so this is the list that we created in analytics it's just all users that visit our visit our site and um, imported over from analytics and one of the things that we want to be able to check is whether or not these lists are populating because when we first create a list of users there's not going to be anybody on that list but then as people start visiting the site more and more and more and more they're going to get populated that to that list more and more and more so day one if you create an AdWords, uh, a, a remarketing list in AdWords or analytics, there's not going to be any users for you to advertise to. But a week from then, or two weeks, or three weeks, or four weeks, uh, that list is going to start populating over time. Um, how we look at that is if we click on this list and we scroll down a little bit here, I'll look at the last 90 days since it was created on February 9th. You can see here under list size. February 9th, there was nobody on the list, zero users on the list. But since that was created, because it's uh, March 15th today, it's my mom's birthday today. So, uh, March 15th today, um, you can see that this list grows over time as people visit the site. Now, as these users, so this is day one, February 10th here. Between February 9th, when we first created this campaign, and February 10th, there were 48 people who visited the site and got populated to our remarketing list. Now, those users, by default, are going to stay on that remarketing list for 30 days until it drops them. So eventually, even though you see that this has been growing over the past month or two, eventually this is going to level out because as uh, as users are entering li your list, you also have users being dropped from your list um, once they get a... Uh, once they're 30 days old on the list. So eventually this is going to level out. We obviously aren't going to have an infinite amount of users to the site. You can see that it's already starting to level out around 1,200 or so up here. Um, but this is a good way to, if your remarketing list, uh, the reason that this is great to come in here and look at this and what I use this for the most is uh, if you have a remarketing campaign that all of a sudden you know was spending fifty dollars a day let's say and now it's struggling to spend you tried increasing bids you don't know what's wrong with the campaign if you come in here more than likely if you look at this list size it's going to have plummeted uh... what that means is that means that uh... you're maybe there's something wrong with the linking or uh, there's something wrong with your remarketing list maybe a web developer on the back end changed the code and your uh, your Google Analytics code got dropped or something like that but what that tells you is that it's it's it has nothing to do with your bids or any any of your uh, your management of the campaigns it just means that the code that tracks those users fell off the site and uh, those users are, as they get 30 days old are going to slowly fall off that list so always good to come in here and check your audience make sure that it's populating I do this for my clients about every two to four weeks just to make sure that we're not seeing a dip in traffic uh, if we do see a dip in traffic it could be an indicator that uh, uh, code did drop and it's good to be proactive about that stuff rather than reacting two months later and realizing Oh my God, my uh, my, my remarketing list isn't running anymore. It's good to just see that early and uh, email your web developer, get them to fix whatever's wrong with the site, and move on. All right, so that's how we <clears throat> we view the lists in AdWords to see if they're populating. Honestly, I would say that about ninety five percent of the time, I have a remarketing campaign uh, mess up this is usually the reason it's usually that if you came in here and saw that the list was uh, was decaying it probably just means that the code dropped from the site and uh, you need to get your analytics code back on the site uh, <clears throat> just to recap here if you go into analytics under admin the same tracking info drop-down box that where we saw the data collection part if you go to tracking code you can find your uh, you can find your Google Analytics code here so just make sure that that's on the site all right, uh, and then the last thing I want to go over here within analytics is we were talking about 
being able to tell whether or not the uh, the analytics code is on the site. Uh, if it did drop or if it's not working or you, your remarketing list is decaying over time, uh, my favorite way to check whether or not there's something wrong with the, uh, the, the tracking code, whether it's an analytics tracking code or an AdWords remarketing tracking code or whatever it is, I like using Google Tag Manager and it, to get download Google Tag Manager as easy as just opening up Google and looking it up and just downloading it. It's an add-on on your computer that will it'll pop up up here. You can see in the top right of my screen it says Tag Assistant. Um, if we click that, hit Enable, and then Refresh, it will want you to refresh in order to see what's on the site. Uh, <clears throat> what it will do is it'll tell you the uh, the analytics codes or not even analytics it'll actually tell you all the codes that it's detecting on the site uh, if you do see that one is in red or that there's an error pop-up up here uh, then you you can know whether or not uh, the analytics code has dropped from the sites so this, this is just a really easy way uh, if you um, if you do check your remarketing list and you're not sure whether or not the code dropped from the site, I highly recommend you download Google Tag Manager because it's the fastest way of just clicking up in the top right corner and double checking that your code is on the site. And um, and if that's not the problem, then you know you know you can move on and start diagnosing other things. But like I said, 95% of the time that's usually the problem. So uh, I, I highly recommend downloading Google Tag Manager, Google Tag Assistant. I don't know which one they call it, but. Um, Anyways, yeah, that's kind of my 101 for checking remarketing lists. Uh, I appreciate all you guys watching, and I will see you guys next week. Happy advertising.